Hello everyone, <clears throat> welcome to my channel. This was my wife's idea to go around. I didn't like it, but she liked it. So we will see, do you like it or not? Uh, the idea is to show you uh, third day, fourth day probably. Everything is locked. My uh, new gimbal, and I'm still learning. I'm still uh, trying to uh, learn more stuff and new stuff. Right now it's locked. So. First, we're gonna unlock the pad, which is 360. It's very cool. I love this gimbal because I learned how to uh, balance it nicely and I would like to show off how, how I did it really, 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 really nice. All balance. This is a roll axle. And this one is, no, that's a tilt. This one is roll. So up right like this the whole idea is to use the gimbal to get a stabilized video everybody knows that but most of the people think that you just grab the gimbal and it works for you it's so much pain in the butt first of all you need to make sure that your gimbal is working nicely mechanically so physically it's balanced see this is not balanced why because this Door is not open. Look at this now. Door is open and suddenly everything is balanced. You don't believe me? Look, make sure that when you balance or before you start balancing, you open and make sure that you have everything ready for the recording. Because if you don't, what's gonna happen? You put this back, see, out of balance. <laughs> I didn't know about that. I didn't know that's so sensitive. See, it's not gonna stay. And basically you want to open and just make it ready for the recording. And the perfect balance of gimbal is when you put it in, into any position, any position, and it stays like that, any position. You put it 45 degrees angle, you put it 45 degrees angle, put it upside down like a straight, upside down, it stays up stays even with this look <clears throat> record this kind of thing here what's happening i can easily put it like this right and no problem you see it's a lot of clearance see a lot of clearance see but i choose not to why because this is nothing that's only like touching lightly unless you're really sensitive then you can do it like this because it's gonna record the sound. Only negative thing what I can say about the gimbal is I cannot use my microphone setup. So I have to use this thing here, which is good. PCM10, Sony, they don't make it anymore, but it records very, very, very good. So this is perfect setup, right? That's what you think, that's what I, I was thinking before. But if you start adding stuff like this, video transmission guy, what's gonna happen? That's gonna change everything. See, you put it here. Oh, maybe like here. You put it there and you lock it. And suddenly, see, roll axis needs to be Roll axis needs to be done. And how to do the roll axis? Just unhook this and push it opposite way. If your camera is leading that way, and that's it, voila. But this thing is also not balanced. So, you know, for the sake of this, this short way there, see? Now I screwed up my, 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 uh, my roll balance, see, just watch it, if it leans that way, you just push it a little bit until it's done, this way or this way, and when it stays, you lock it, that's the whole thing, that's the whole idea. And when you do that, and when you 
turning on. The whole thing is gonna be very, very, very easy to use. Very easy to use. Nothing to worry about anything. Because that's what's important. Good setup. Now we're gonna just see how it's good balanced. Like we're gonna go into that app we have connect to DGI RS it's connected and it, we're gonna do the balance test and just to break right the balance test balance test it's gonna be perfect every single time it needs to be like this enough inclination 15 to 45 degrees and record camera what camera is doing see And I don't feel anything. Record this display here. It's always green. If it's not good, good balance, then you hear the grinding noise from the motors, and that's results. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Nothing less than the pure excellency. Let's try this now. Unhook this guy here, right? And just test it. Put it so it's gonna be brushing against this, right? So I'm gonna move it this way. And then it's gonna be brushing on purpose, touching this stuff, right? See? And then we're gonna see how the balance is gonna work. Just record this. See? It's brushing against it and it's working, it's working, it's working. Record this now, please. And end result is gonna be still perfect. Excellent. Nothing less than excellency. And you can tell that you did a very good job balancing your, it's a selfie mode for you. Balancing your camera, if you if you feel that when you do the balancing test, this area is always green and you don't feel any grinding, right? You don't feel any any grinding at all, and then you know it's uh, it's good. So that's what I wanted to say. Of course, I had to do. Yeah, actually, I almost forgot. The main reason why I was able to do good balancing is, is this. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna shut it down and I'm gonna take it off just to show you. So it's off now, right? It's off now and see how it's good. It's perfectly balanced. Anyway you put it, it just stays put. Nothing else. And it's only possible to achieve that. I'm just talking about this camera because of this thing here. So I'm gonna stand because I don't see well here. Yeah, unlock this he this thing here, and you can push it out. Press here, and the get whole thing. Just gonna remove this cable. That's for controlling my camcorder. And this is the whole thing. Yeah, always make sure that you put this back it's because I spit a lot and I don't want to do any spitting on my nice filter. Everything is back. Everything is back. Good. Now we can talk about this guy. This is the original Manfrotto guy. See how does it look? Actually, like this. That should be a copy of it. And that's Manfrotto guy, but that's the combination with Arca Swiss guy, which I don't like and which I don't have anything. And, uh, and Manfrotto, but I purchased this Manfrotto guy from, and I made it just enough, see, I can still remove my battery, can take my battery, because I can use this thing directly from the gimbal, I can throw it back on, on my tripod, which is really handy. With this guy, I cannot throw it. It doesn't work. 
with this and uh, just just doesn't and uh, I like this better and plus I had the opportunity to finish it just because <clears throat> okay like, let's lock it let's, let's lock it in place like it should be like this like this and and this one I'm gonna lock this one so I can show you yeah that thing is just crazy it's not good so I had to I, I had to buy this one and it's from small rig small rig guy right and so easy to put it back right work like a charm it's not like this and it's still compatible with this uh, let me see mm -hmm. yeah this is the the wheels this is the wheels so they go <laughs> let's see this way no. <laughs> this way goes this way yeah goes like this and you can tell it works because this thing is moving can record this, right? I'm gonna close, close, come closer. What what that allows me to move it really, really, really nice. With this guy, which came with it, I had a limitation, and I couldn't get to balance my uh, Sony AX700 because this is this is the the way you can put it maximum. With this one, I just have more reach. I can go more left, more right, whatever I want. So let's do it again, just to show you how it's easy. Because I moved it now. I moved it from the position. Okay, now it's it. That's it, I'm gonna put this one guy here. See, oh, still good. That's a good example. See, that shows me. Oh, actually, you can open this. See, that's not good. So I need to rebalance it. And how to do it? Just open this one and push it a little bit here. See, if you push it, it's heavy. If you push it this way, it's nose heavy, tail heavy. If you make it nice, then you lock it. When you lock it, it should be again good. So, a little bit roll axis. Okay, we're gonna fix that. Roll axis, push it a little bit here. No. Other way, this way. Just experiment. And then you try. And there you go. Again. And that's, I didn't, see, I didn't uh, even record what it was when I removed it. That's how much do you need to rebalance the thing. If you know how to, and if you're really happy doing it. That's it. Make sure everything is nice and tight. And that's it. <laughs> Finally, I'm done. Yeah, I wanted to show you with this thing. Some people might be good, but I needed this also. This is like um, 200 grams, 230 grams, I think. And I had to jam it in between like this, where, yeah, around here, just to have it enough space in order to accommodate that for this. Now, with a little bit of brushing, I can even use the, that rubber piece without problem without any any additional weight weight or nothing just because i changed this small rig plate one front of plate for this one arca switch which i don't use anyway so that's it for now thanks for watching and have a nice day sony rules and manfrotto <laughs> bye bye have a nice day